Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a while since I've actually done anything for the actor series, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten this series at all and here is a new episode for it right now. If you've been keeping up with my channel recently, you'll have noticed that a couple of weeks ago I uploaded my uh, show reel to YouTube because on the 19th when I uploaded my um, show reel to YouTube uh, that is the same day that there was share show reel share day that's it and <laughs> um, which is basically something that a few actors had got together and decided to make a thing to post their show reels on to Twitter and so in the hope that casting directors and agents will actually see their show reel now, if you're watching this and your first question is, what is a showreel? Well, a showreel is basically clips of you acting, you know, for screen and compiled into a nice little package so that it shows all of your different um, kind of acting sides. So say for example with my showreel, if you've seen it, I'm going to try and, you know, put a link of it somewhere around here maybe, just to play in the corner. For my show reel at the moment, I've got a scene where it is somewhat a little bit comical, it kind of shows a bit of a more timid kind of little scared side of me kind of thing you know a bit not so bold kind of like as i say a timid introverted type of character whereas for another scene in that show reel i am a very bold confrontational type of character so it's two different sides of different characters and that's basically what a show reel is you want to have different aspects and different types of personalities of different characters in basically what should ideally be maybe a two minute video at least. It's basically a way for um, cast and directors and agents to actually look at something of you acting and to see, oh yeah, they can be this type of character, they can be serious, they can be funny. It's, that's what the basic point of it is. So there's been a couple of different questions asked around regarding showreels and one of them I've seen actually is, do I even need a showreel? And personally, I would say yes you do. It's basically the first thing that an agent or a casting director is going to look at when they look at your profile or your kind of like maybe your spotlight. I know for my agent in particular, she said to me that I needed to have a showreel and I needed to be on spotlight, both of which I had before I even joined up with her. But that is something that a lot of agents do want to see, especially if they can't specifically see you in person to begin with. They may ask to see your showreel and to look at your CV and maybe a voice reel if you've got that. It's maybe, it's possibly, quite possibly going to be their first chance of seeing how you act and what your style is and how well you perform in front of a camera as well. So I say it's definitely worth getting a showreel. Even if you want to be a stage performer, it's good to get a showreel because it, it is an opportunity to act and to show people what type of characters you can play. The main thing I should point out actually before I carry on is if you are going to invest in a showreel or you know get a showreel set up you need to know what type of characters you would play. Like if I wanted to do a showreel and I wanted to play a scene where I am 80 years old would not work. I would get a showreel together where my characters are younger because I look younger. It makes sense, doesn't it? Something I can point out is that you don't necessarily need to pay someone to make a showreel for you. I mean, it helps because they can give you uh, material and stuff for it, but in an ideal world, you actually don't really need to have someone to film a showreel for you. Like what I'm doing right now, filming myself in front of a camera, what I do in my other videos, doing cover videos. I'm filming myself and that is essentially some of the stuff I use. I have sent self-tapes of me doing monologues to people and you can put that together. If you get so many clips of yourself together, like be it doing cover songs, be it doing dance, um, you know, dance recitals that you do if you're a musical theatre person, or even just a couple of monologues or duologues with people, you can cramp those together if you, you know, strategically edit things around. You could just get those together and that could be your showreel until you have the budget to be able to afford someone who can film something for you. There's been times where I've not personally been able to afford a uh, company to make a showreel for me, so I have actually do filmed myself doing a couple of different things and I'm in the process of actually getting whatever footage I have already in the new footage I've filmed and putting them into an actual little showreel for myself. Uh, it doesn't matter if the footage is high quality or not, as long as it actually gets across what style of acting you're doing. Like if you can see the facial expressions and you can see the honesty of your acting, what should it matter if it is the highest of quality? It really shouldn't. So I would definitely say if you have a low budget or zero budget for having a show or 
getting a showreel, definitely consider actually making one yourself and try and strategically edit it so that it works. When in doubt, get any of your friends to watch your showreel and see what they reckon would be good to be able to add to it and take away from it and to rearrange it. But that being said, if you do have the money for it, definitely do go to uh, a company who specialises in making showreels. But find one who is worth the money. There are so many people, so many companies that I've seen up and around in London specifically that they don't charge that much and I look and I'd be looking at these websites like oh my god yay they don't charge very much for their showreels but then I would actually look at what they've made and <laughs> they were mm. as, as I just said the quality isn't everything but when you've got unnecessary kind of like effects slipping into the video it just looks a bit ridiculous and it depends and also the camera angles that these people have used are not flattering in the slightest for the person that is using this showreel. You want to go to a company that knows what they're doing with the camera, basically, instead of, you know, and that does happen to be people who do charge a lot of money because, let's face it, if you know what you're doing, why do it for free? Like, if you're good at it, don't do it for free. It makes sense, basically. But yeah, I say definitely invest in finding a decent showreel company because, as I say, they will, it will be definitely worth the money for it. I mean, for my showreel, uh, for my really top clips that I've got, um, I went to this company called Slick Showreels. They were the nicest, nicest lads that I've ever met. Like, and they made us feel so comfortable during the um, scenes and during the filming. They were just so nice. So that is definitely, it's, it's recommendation time! So they are the first people, that our first company, I would definitely recommend. Number two of recommended um, showreel companies. So, there's this company called Film Art Productions, and this could just be being a bit biased because I know people who work for that company, but looking at what they've created, and for the price of what they do, they are actually really, really good. I'm going to leave all the links for these people down below because I think they are definitely worth checking out. Same with Slick Show Reels, definitely look at them because they are top guys. But Film Art Productions, I am not entirely sure how long they've been about for, but they are actually really good at what they do. I've seen their footage and for the prices they do and the quality of the videos, they do a range of things. They do uh, yes, bog standard show reels. They do um, dance show reels, which if you're a musical theatre person and you are uh, specialised in dance, that is amazing for that. So they are definitely a company I would definitely recommend having a look at. Again, if I had the money for it, I would have probably messaged them a long time ago. If you're watching this, give me a showreel. Poor person problems. Yes. So, that is my top recommendations of showreel people to contact if you haven't got any idea of who to contact um, and you do happen to have the money to be able to afford a showreel. I mean, loads of these companies do actually have different packages. So even if it's just one clip that you're looking for, like in my case, I'm just looking for one clip sometimes to film and to add to my current showreel. They probably will have packages to be able to accommodate for that. So yeah, that's just my quick video on showreels. If you've actually been to a showreel company and you've actually had your own showreel made by someone else who I haven't listed, then leave a comment in the link to who they are down below. I'd love to actually have a look and see who you've worked with and see what their kind of quality of stuff is. If you've had a bad experience with some showreel companies, then leave them down in the comments below because I think that in this industry, it is good to spread the message around of the good people and the bad people. So definitely leave a comment below if you've encountered a bad showreel company. So yep, that's all I've got time for for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please excuse the look. I went for a run today and I just, my, sh my hair dry is broken, but yeah. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Remember to hit the subscribe button because I've got a load of different things coming up. And yeah, I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone. Mwah.